Hey guys, this is Nate and this is the Nader Tater channel. Alright, today I'm going to talk about a cooling fan as well as pigtail mounts for this Arcadian KVD 21 T-Mobile Home Internet Gateway. You know, I've covered um, the cooling fan as well as installing external antennas on both of these, but you know, this Nokia one, this is one of the cooling fans I've used in the... Um, in the past, I also had one that was just a computer cooling fan that I put underneath the gateway. I put some foam on there. It's a little bit of a jerry-rigged setup, but then um, these guys on Etsy came out with this 3D printed cooling fan that made it very easy and quick to just put on top of the Nokia one, press it down, and it's um, secure, and then you plug it into the back of the unit. Some people like to plug it into the wall or something else, but um, I certainly plug it into the back of the unit to keep this guy cool because people have seen lots of problems with these guys overheating. It starts to shut down, slow down, or needs a reboot to reconnect. The cooling fan seems to fix a lot of that. It's not a um, solution for uh, everyone or every problem, but it certainly helped and it helped me with my speeds getting uh, faster more consistently. I didn't have reboot problems, but um, that was great. So when I looked at this Arcadian one, when I took it apart to put the external antennas on there, when there's video out for that, I couldn't find a good way to put a cooling fan on here because, um, you know, I had this guy apart. So this top piece is a pain to get off. So I'm going to leave it off for this discussion, but it has holes all through the bottom of it and it has holes along the side and gaps out the top for air. But again, it's also passively cooled like the Nokia one. So there's no cooling fan in here from the factory. And there wasn't a super easy way other than like, you know, getting tape and taping around here to, um, to have a cooling fan suck the air out. But of course, when there's a, a need out there in the marketplace, someone's willing to uh, make products for it. And so these same guys that make the Nokia one, it's DC 3D projects. Um, at Etsy, they created this new 3D printed unit. Now this one's just a cooling fan. I'll talk about the one that uh, does the mount for the pigtails for external antennas as well. But I'm really impressed with um, the improvement that I've seen uh, that they made. And perhaps they made some of these improvements on their Nokia one as well. I get one of the, the earlier ones out there. So the, the fit and finish is really good. And then the coolest thing to me at least is these feet are made out of rubber, so they are flexible. So they 3D printed these rubber feet, as well as back here where the wire goes through for the fan, that's a 3D printed grommet so that they could fit you know, the USB in through. But this is all rubber. Um, so I thought that was really neat. And this is a um, brushless DC fan, uh, obviously, and it's 80 millimeter diameter. 25 millimeter deep, and then it's uh, five volt and a quarter amp. So it's 1.25 amp or 1.25 watts max. Um, so that that's what it does. And all this does is this unit snaps in. It's pretty um, tight fit, so it's snug. So you have to take it, get it lined up, and then it slides up. And it goes right below the T logo on the front and then right below the power cord and stuff on the rear. And so all you have to do is take this, you plug it in to right here, they give you that adapter. And when it does that, this fan turns on, you can see it down here. And so you can hear it, you know, it's it sounds like a computer fan where if uh, the room is perfectly quiet, you could probably hear that that fan is running. But to me, it's not obnoxious. Um, but to some people, if you had it right beside you, um, you might find the fan slightly annoying. So um, that's really cool, and I think this is going to be a great thing. If you put this unit anywhere where it gets hot, you know, with it being black, if you put it in a window where it gets a lot of sunlight, because that's where you get the best signal, uh, you might have overheating issues. Or if you put it in the attic or a garage space, um, that's another thing where you really should think about adding a cooling fan to help your performance. I will say so far in having this unit for um, a little, I think about a month now, I haven't had or haven't seen a direct heating um, 
issue with this unit, but it's also winter, so everything's kind of colder. So um, I haven't yet proven if there is a big uh, cooling issue, but certainly for the uh, the price of uh, getting these, and one of the big drivers for me wanting it is actually for these mounts for the external antenna. So let's let's uh, pull out that one and show you that. All right, so I actually have only the SMA connectors, so that's these little guys, and the unit that I got here is actually for the N-type connector, which is the much bigger one, and this is a N-type to SMA adapter, and now this is the Mel end, I think, and typically the pigtails would have the other end, so I don't have a perfect example, but this still fits, and again, they have these little um, grommets in here, or plugs, I guess, that are rubber and they pop out. And then this would be the same thing with a pigtail. You just take this and this fits nice and snug in here. All right, so that pops in and that is nice and tight. And you can see that, you know, it is a snug enough fit that it doesn't uh, pop out. And I think the uh, pigtail ends, just like the SMA, I think they actually have a threaded um, not that you can put on there to uh, securely secure them. But then there's room for the pigtail wire to come along the side here. And if we actually look at it here, okay, so if you look right here in these corners, you can actually take this connector, and it's even easier when if you have the, the case sides off, of course. But this has room to um, go down in there, and this can then feed in and wrap around you can attach them into here, and then there's room for this to actually fit into there. So that's how the the pigtail would work uh, once you get this in there. All right, I hope this was helpful for you guys. And if you like the video, obviously hit the thumbs up button down below. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And then if you want to see any other info on these units, check out my channel. Check out the T-Mobile playlist and you'll see how to install external antennas, the uh, antenna testing that I did of comparing different ones, as well as checking out the, the waveform antenna, what kind of improvements that gave me, as well as some cooling information on this Nokia one. So uh, take care and enjoy.